What is making those cheeks clap, my little Martians? It is your giddy old uncle, Mark. And welcome to WMC Season 28. This is when mine is colour with a U. It's spelled with a U. And this season we will play a mystery teams game. And mystery teams, you, each, each person has a colour. And in episode 2, those colours are set. And any player that you run into, Oh, look at that, end of episode 1. <laughs> uh, at the end of... Uh, so, uh, okay. Um, when you get the colours, you can run into your teammates. Or you can run into basically anyone, and you'll know that they're your teammates based on the colour that they have. And for this specific season, we will be playing with a scenario where wherever you walk, you will leave a trail of coloured blocks. So, say you are the purple player you will leave a trail of purple blocks wherever you walk. And if you are a white player, you will leave a trail of white blocks. So if a purple player runs into a white person player, they know that that person isn't on their team, so they can fight that person. But if the purple player runs into another purple player, that's their teammate. Pretty simple. But also if you land a long shot, I don't know exactly how long the shot has to be, uh, oh, we're frozen. <laughs> False alarm we were not supposed to start yet. Just for away the, the wooden tools that I just got. Okay, I think we can actually go now. <laughs> I'll just keep the stuff I already had, I guess. But, uh, where was I? Yeah, so, um, if you land a long shot on a player, it will leave, like, a sort of colourful explosion around them, where the <laughs> shot lands. Um, and if you just heard that sneeze, it's because I'm recording this in post commentary, uh, as I usually do with free for all. There's another sneeze with free for all recordings. This was actually recorded the day before international was played, and I recorded post commentary for the last the last sort of stretch of that as well. And if you watch that, you'll know that I don't actually know how to set a separate audio track in OBS yet. So I recorded with my my audio. And I'm now recording over that same audio. So I can't get rid of stuff like sneezes, clicks, coughs, any of that will be tied into the one audio track that is combined with my game sounds. So I kind of have to have that. Anyway, we are also playing 1.12 this season, which is very nice. I think I've only played one 1.12 uh, recorded round, which was the, the dragon one. I don't remember the name of it. But that one didn't go very well, my team died in episode 2, so I thought, you know what, I'll just go die as well. So, this is my first proper uh, 1.12 round. And, I actually, actually, you know, I played the last WMC, but I didn't, I don't really count that as playing, because my computer kept crashing the whole game. So, every 10 minutes I had to restart my, restart playing, and uh, then I'd get through it for like 5 minutes and then my computer would crash and it always took like, it, it took literally like 10 minutes to restart it each time and I'm having some resource pack issues here I was having this in the, oh there's Costanza, hello I just saw him in the corner of my screen yeah I was having some issues in the, the lobby before where some of the blocks were showing up as like pink and black sort of square things because I don't know. I don't know what it is, but there's some sort of texture back issue because I'm playing on 1.12, um, and also because WMC doesn't already highlight its ores, it was difficult for me to find a pack I could use. Okay, so we are just going with default texture pack because I I've tried like two different texture packs. I tried one in the lobby that didn't work, and this one that I was trying now didn't work either. So we're just going with default, which is horrible. So I. If you want to stop watching, I do not blame you. In fact, I honestly, I'm watching this while I'm recording. I don't even want to look at it. It's it's horrible looking, disgusting, disgusting, horrible looking. And I'm just making a boat here. I actually found recently that making a boat is a very useful thing to do, just generally in UHC. Like, I never really used to ever bother with making a boat, but now I do. But anyway, I was saying about the, the last season of WMC. I don't really count it as having played it because... Oh, a bit of a lag spike there. Or maybe that was just me with the recording. I don't know. But 
I didn't really get to play it, which was a shame because I, I created the, the scenario and I was very proud of it. And I felt like I could have done well that season, but I never really got to play it. So, that was sad. I have, I have played like other like 1.12 sort of rounds before, but there were stuff that like don't really count, like Bacon Craft here. Uh, there was a Bacon Craft here that was played the same day as this. I played with Cloud J1 and Space Phoenix. And it was a 1.16 go to hell game, and we actually ended up winning that. So, I was already on a 1-1 a, a streak, which for me is very unusual. Oh, well, I have to check with Quill, which is very unfortunate. Quill. Forgot me in the intro. The intro is out, but the, by the time this comes out, I'm actually recording this the day before it's supposed to go live. But the... The intro, Quill forgot to put me in the intro the first time he made it. And then, he asked what I wanted to be named in the intro, and I told him just Mark. And then he made the intro, and he didn't put me as just Mark, he put me as Mark 5M, which is wrong. So then I told him about it again, and he still kept it as Mark 5M. So, yeah, if we see Quill, he's dead. He's a dead man. Anyway, so yeah, I was saying about the the other 1.12 sort of rounds that I've played. Um, I've played a few of the R Hermitcraft games, those were a lot of fun. But again, not really recorded rounds. The last one of those I played, I, I won with like 9 kills, so I wish it counted as a recorded round. But, it's, I don't know, I sort of count things like that more as like sort of event rounds. I don't know, is that's the sort of name I would give to it. Where it's like, it's like a sort of a big event where recording is like encouraged, it has episodes as an intro, but you don't strictly have to record it. So that's how I see how I sort of see that. And I actually get something that uh uh was I, I asked for Twitter like on Twitter like if anyone has any ideas for things I can talk about. And one thing was like one point sixteen rounds and I haven't actually seen any yet. But I think it would be really nice to see one point sixteen rounds. I've heard that like 1.16 isn't very stable for hosting UHCs. Oh, there's a little spider sound. Hello. But um, I don't know. Like the the bacon crafty game that I played had like no lag issues, but there was a very small roast that was like 12 people or something. So I don't know. I don't know how many people would really work without without a lot of lag. If you can get a small roaster, it's probably fine. Anyway, I'm trying to get some apples in a swamp before I head down. Being overly confident that will find a lot of gold, as I typically do. No, I don't. I don't, I don't ever find anything when I cave in this, this game. Especially in recorded rounds, like, I just don't find stuff. I don't get gold, I don't get diamonds. And I just go up and, like, the, the very end of the game, meet up and I'm full iron and enchanted. Which isn't good in a, a time where everyone is always getting full diamond. Another thing with uh, with one point sixteen actually is, I think there's like so much room for building new scenarios that I'd really like to explore. Because one of the things that keeps me interested still in UHC is just make us just come up with new ideas for scenarios that can be hosted in UHC. And that's, that's like a big part of why Phobia is still so much fun for me because it gives me a lot of room to create new game modes. I mean, even with WMC, like, the, the game mode suggestion channel that we have is like 90% just me coming up with stuff. And like, I literally have, like a, have had to make like a document with like a spreadsheet of decorated and added pretty colors and everything for all of the, the scenario ideas that I've come up with for WMC. Because I just come up with so so many of them. Getting a little bit of lag here, which is completely normal for me. It just always happens, I'm used to it. But one thing that kinda of sucks here is when I'm digging this like two by one sort of thing down, because some of the blocks are turning into the white clay, it means I'm not getting an extra block that I'm digging down. So there's something. There is a cave around here though, so that's good. Uh, and we have cave. 
possibly. I don't know, there's lava down there at the very least, but whether it's an actual cave remains to be seen. Hopefully it's a night up there with my pickaxe. Hopefully it's a decent cave and I can get some diamonds very early on. Because I would actually like to go up and try and find my teammate very early. I think most people would not fight this early on. Especially given that it's WMC. I think there's a few people who would fight, fight back. And I hopefully wouldn't run into them. If I do, then they're hopefully on my team. But I feel like I could take most people in this roster, and by that I mean like there's like five or six people I could probably take if they're like very undergeared. I, I have like quite a bit of armor though, iron though, I think. Probably. I wasn't really paying attention. But I can probably make some armor. But if I do get enchanted by episode 2 and WMC, then I'd be very comfortable going up to the surface and trying to find my teammate. I'm actually wondering what colour I'll be as well. That'll be, that'll be fun to explore. All the different colours of the rainbow. It's actually Pride Month, so... Uh, as of now, well, it's uh, it's the 3rd of June. That's the day that this is going up. So, yeah, it's Pride Month. Very fitting for a, a rainbow-themed recorded ground. So, I have the chest plate of the bucket. And bits. So I, I have a decent amount of armor. I don't remember. I didn't actually check again when the when the furnaces were open to make sure I have enough. But yeah, another thing about 1.16 is I actually have like a single player world that I was playing for a bit, and I haven't played single player like actively and actually really enjoyed it since pre UHC days. Until I started the single player 1.16 world. So that was a lot of fun. I haven't played that in a while just because I've been so busy lately. But yeah, just like exploring the new. all the new stuff. The new nether is really fun. I think the last thing I was doing was um, building like a, a railway. I, I, I made like a big tunnel to transport cows to my base because like I didn't have any. Where I when I set up my base, and I ended up just deciding to turn it into a railway station because that leads to my nether portal, and then that nether portal leads to another railway I'm trying to make at the top of the nether to lead to other biomes because like I got a really bad spawn. It was like in the ocean, and then there was an extreme hill. It was so far away for me to get to like any other biomes. I'm also still getting this like pink and black sort of texture pack glitch coming up every now and then when I break blocks. It's really weird, I don't know what's causing it. I probably should have just like restarted my client and maybe that would have fixed it. And I would have been able to play with a texture pack because I hate default so much. I, I cannot stand looking at default. Especially when fighting in default league. I cannot fight with default texture pack at all. I just can't hit a thing. I think I've gotten so used to like, I don't know, just arrow particles that actually look nice. So like, I, I can't dodge default arrow particles, I don't know what it is, they're weird. Not having highlighted ores is very strange as well. I don't believe toggles, no I don't have tog toggle sprint on. Very different <laughs> from what I'm used to playing. And even with all of those things, I still don't do well, so... Oh, a little bit of gold. Hello! That'll get me a golden apple. For all the damage I'm not going to take. I'm going to be Iron Man this game. I'm going to beat Nihon Tiger. Nihon Tiger, you are dead to me. I will be Iron Man. I don't remember the last Iron Man I got. I used to get like Iron Man all the time. And then I stopped playing recorder and script cages. I don't think I've gotten it in a while. I don't really care about it, like I don't like actively try and get Iron Man, I just I just get it because I'm bad at caving. And I end up roller coastering most of my games. Hello zombie. You will not get through here. The zombies are nothing uh 
Um, there's much to be messed with in this game. In 1.12. They can, especially when you're laggy like me. I actually played like a, I actually played a, oh this was one point was 1.8, but I played like a, a game not too long ago, which was quite funny, I found a, a zombie dungeon, and I thought I'll kill these zombies safely by digging to the bottom of the dungeon, breaking the spawner, using a lava bucket to kill the zombies that are in there, and the lava ended up falling on myself, and then I put the water on myself to put the lava out and it's under the cobblestone. And then I went back into the get pushed into the lava again, went on fire, tried to eat a gapple to save myself, and like I died in the like the very last frame of the eating animation. That was a fun day. I really don't play this game that much anymore. Like I I went through a phase where I was playing quite a lot again after I got my new computer, and now I just I don't have time to play much. So I've hardly played at all lately. I haven't like, been, been on my computer at all lately actually, that's why I'm just recording this the day, the day before, technically the day of, because it's like 20 minutes to 1 now. <laughs> but yeah, I was talking about like, an Iron Man, yeah, Nihon and Joey are both in this game, they get Iron Man a lot. But as long as, as honestly, as long as I don't get first damage, I don't care, I just, I hate getting first damage and it's something that makes me so paranoid. That and first death. I know some people like deliberately take first damage a lot of the time, and I feel like I should probably start doing that. Like, I know it sounds silly, but I think you do get like a probably just it gets rid of the anxiety of getting first damage. So it probably is a decent idea. I'm sure that's not why people do it, but. It's still a, a good idea. Easy zombie. So I'm full iron. I, don't, I didn't get the diamonds that I was hoping to get before the end of the episode. Still looks to be like a little bit of cave left. So not in too bad of a position here. But it is now turning episode 2. So I will see you all next episode. Ah!